Do not love either the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Because everything in the world, the desire of the flesh and the desire of the eyes, and the showy display of one's means of life does not originate with the Father, but originates with the world. Furthermore, the world is passing away, and so is its desire. But the one who does the will of God remains forever. 1 John 2, 15 through 17. See, the influence in this world, it comes from so many different places. Right. Some of the most efficient ways of influence is through the things that you see and the things that you hear. And the reason I say that is because if you look at your face in a mirror right now, the places of which your ears lie and the place where your eyes are, those places are most close to your brain. So anything that you can see, anything that you hear, it has a faster route to your brain and to your mind. If God did not want us to be able to think for ourselves, he would have obviously given us all the same brain, all the same looks, everything the same because he wanted us to live just all alike. But no, God has awarded us and afforded us individuality. And in that being said, he wants you to have ownership and accountability of the things that you do, the things that you think, the things that you say. When you told lies, when you see lies, when you hear lies all throughout your life from the world and hearing the words in repetition, it can create habit in your life as well. It can cause you to rehearse the things that are being said to you. It's like a mantra. You know, you hear it enough times, you start to visualize it, and then your visuals become a reality. That's what the imagination is all about. Of course you're going to live your life in chaos and disarray. Of course you're going to live your life in mess. But once you start to listen and hear the truth, and you see it, and you start to see the truth, your mind becomes more powerful. And when your mind becomes powerful in the spirit, your soul becomes powerful in the spirit. Your, your, your body, your physical body becomes more powerful in the spirit. And when you sit down with yourself, you know that you've had enough and you're sick of living in this way and you're sick of being tired and depressed and sad and hurt and angry. Yeah. And you seek out God, you seek out the spirit. And he say, it's about time. It's about time. I've always been here with you. I have not left you. And you want to know why I have not left you? Because you are still here. Each step that you take needs to be a step taking you closer to your relationship and your love for God. Are you walking into different places that are bringing you closer to God? Are you walking into relationships with people that are bringing you closer to God? Think of each step as a step that is bringing you closer to God. Don't forget that your mind is very powerful and the spirit of God is always, is always covering.